Justin Herbert is projected to be the third quarterback drafted this year in next month's draft, according to Armel Kuyper Jr. However, after last week's combine, a lot of people continue to be impressed by Utah State quarterback Jordan Love. Despite leading the country in interceptions this past year, the Utah State product had close to the same number of touchdowns, excuse me, of passing yards as Herbert, and he had more completions of over 20 yards as well. What am I missing here? This guy is prototypical size, he's high character, he's productive, and you know what else he is? He's fundamentally, he's a competitor. The biggest games of this year, Pac-12 championship against a really good Utah defense, in the Rose Bowl against a really good Wisconsin team. Oh, he goes to the Senior Bowl. All he is is the Senior Bowl MVP. And then when he goes to Indy, and I'm there watching the other night, the first couple of throws, I'm like, oh boy, come on, buddy, you got to play ball. <laughs> and he throws a couple of slants, and the ball's a little bit behind. But as the workout went on, yeah. he got better and better, and he really threw it well. And there's Joe Burrow, Mr. All American. What does he do? He withdraws from the Senior Bowl. Biggest stage, prime time combine he doesn't work out and to me when you're in these rooms and you're making decisions guys competitiveness is one of them and one last point I want to make which is at the end of the day guys if we had traded Joe Burrow and put him in the Oregon offense and took Justin Herbert mm -hmm. and put him in LSU with those weapons what would that conversation look what, like? what's the answer to that question it's actually an interesting yeah one. I mean I think that Joe Burrow plays significantly more exciting football in a, in a consistent football than Herbert did at Oregon. Again, or Oregon's receivers were poor and their scheme wasn't good. And if you took Herbert down and put him at LSU, he's going to have good stats and play well, but he's not going to have the, the moments that Joe Burrow had. You I spent would, this weekend looking at Herbert and you have questions. I'd be scared to death to draft him early. I'd be scared to death to draft to Justin Herbert early. Um, if you watch his game, one, skittish in the pocket and gets just the push in the, in the pocket. There's skittishness there, too doesn't see things before they develop, like overshoots throws at times, wide open receivers, lacks anticipation, guides the football, misses throws. He, he waits to see for guys to get open rather than seeing how bodies move and anticipating those windows come open. And the biggest thing for me is I'd have the greatest concern over the throws that he doesn't make. Yeah. We did the yeah. tape breakdown last week, and that shows up so, consistently for Herbert. Now, Laura, I feel like if I'm watching this, and I, I've been talking about or hearing about Justin Herbert, what feels like forever. Jordan Love is a name I didn't hear until last week. How did he come from wherever it is he was two weeks ago yeah. to where all of a sudden McShay is saying he's going to go ahead of this guy? Well, look, so people knew about Jordan Love going into this year, but then he had a season where he did have 17 turnovers, and that's been a big part of why he dropped off a little bit. But then kind of this surge back up has to do with some Patrick Mahomes comparisons that have happened, which are a stretch for Jordan Love. But I think what you keep hearing from Todd McShay is worth pointing out. He can make these throws from all these different arm slots, and he is more willing than Justin Herbert to take some of those risks, which if refined and worked on, really could translate quite well to the next level. I, I saw a tweet from Lewis Riddick. We need to all remember that these guys are unfinished products sure. coming out of, of college. They're just not ready for this next level yet, and that's why it depends so much on where they're drafted and where they end up um, you know, to, to go on to that next level. Well, I'm really intrigued. I think those are all great points. I'm intrigued by Jordan Love. He's had 26 turnovers in two years. Yeah. Yeah. Ninth most in all of college football. That's a big concern taking him in the first round. We're so glad you're watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, make sure you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.